What's up y'all, it's Brian from East Coast Kelly's. And if you liked our slot dog recipe, you're gonna love this chopped cheese. So come along as we make East Coast Kelly's version of chopped cheese. What's up y'all, it's Brian from East Coast Kelly's and we are making chopped cheese sandwiches tonight on the griddle. So if you're just joining us, stick around. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. Um, this is a favorite among griddlers everywhere and we are super stoked to be doing this one on the griddle tonight so don't go anywhere be sure to join us you're gonna love it okay we're also gonna put down some green peppers over here on our cold zone as well as some onions on this other side And then probably right here, we're just gonna do some canned tomato or uh, canned mushrooms. So this is basically a poor man's version of a cheesesteak, okay? Ideally, like I said, this would have been thawed out, but man, my wife and I, we looked at the weather and it's been midway through the day. I was like, hey babe, you're gonna do breakfast casserole tonight. Let's do it tonight because I really don't want to fight that tomorrow night out there while I'm cooking. So she agreed. I'm not so sure she wanted to cook though, All right? All right, so we're gonna lay down some of this Blackstone series seasoning for cheesesteak. Okay, you can put that all over here. It's a special blend just made for cheesesteaks. And it's gonna go on everything. The onions, the peppers, the beef, a little bit even on the mushrooms. We're gonna go heaviest on the beef though. All right. All right, so now that we've got this semi mixed together, here's what we're gonna do. Like I said, this is a super fast cook. We're going to be less than 10 minutes in. So we're just going to basically rake all this in together. And then what I'm going to do I'm going to push this over here to the side to get these guys spun around these little bit of mushrooms. So those are for everybody except for one lady in the house. She does not like them. I wonder who that is. There's only one lady in the house too, by the way. All the rest are boys. All right. So we're just going to scrape off this. It literally rolls off the back of that cold steel. Everybody asks me, says, what do you do? I've got this little hack where that little bit of grease, it literally just rolls right off. And as it heats up, it slides down. It's perfect. And I wipe it down at the end of each cook. All right. So real quickly, we're going to lay down some sub rolls. Get them nice and toasted up. So everybody asks me why I put mayo on here. It does a nice good job of toasting those buns. It's not that we like mayo on it, although a lot of people do like mayo on chopped cheese. That's not why we're doing it. We're doing it because of the, um, the toasting abilities that it has. Boom. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. How's that for a nice toasted bun, right? All right, so let's do this. While we're getting these two last two toasted, let's start dividing this guy up. So 
get it into a nice square block for my wife, for my lovely bride who does not eat mushrooms. And then for everybody else. this way. Okay. You're laying it down thick with a pepper jack. Look at this y'all. Oh man. Super melty. Super delicious. You can go fancy or you can go cheap, but that's what I brought out with me. Just hold tight, y'all. Dual dominant. Oh yeah, baby. Let's try this. Look at that, y'all. How about that?